My name is Caroline Pack, and I lead the Global Scientific Communications Group within Medical Affairs at Sierra Oncology. I appreciate the opportunity to speak today at the 63rd Annual Congress at ASH today. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about Sierra Oncology, we're a late-stage biotech company on a mission to deliver targeted therapies that treat rare forms of cancer, including myelofibrosis. We're committed to taking an evidence-based approach to investigate new ways to change the cancer treatment paradigm. We're incredibly grateful to the cancer community at large because we know we can't do this alone, and it's only together that we can transform the promise of a pipeline candidate into a potential outcomes for patients. Our main focus is the development of momolotinib, an investigational agent for the treatment of myelofibrosis. Momolotinib is an inhibitor of JAK1, JAK2, and ACVR1, also known as ALK2, all of which target the key signaling pathways that contribute to the major manifestations of this disease. By inhibiting ACVR1, we believe that momolotinib has the potential to improve anemia of myelofibrosis while also improving symptoms and splenomegaly. We are currently awaiting top-line results for our phase three momentum study, which we expect to have by February 2022. The momentum study enrolled 195 of a planned 180 myelofibrosis patients who are symptomatic and anemic, and will assess the impact of momolotinib on symptoms, spleen, anemia, and the need for blood transfusions. Assuming those data are positive, we plan to file a new drug application with the US FDA in the second half of next year. Excitingly, in August, we announced that we had in licensed a novel drug called a BRD4 bed inhibitor to expand our myelofibrosis pipeline. SRA515, uh, which was previously known as AZD5153, is a differentiated bed inhibitor through its high potency, selectivity, and bivalent binding, which may offer a more complete target inhibition relative to other monobivalent binders. We believe momolotinib has the potential to be an effective JAK inhibitor for combination use. Momolotinib is not myelosuppressive, therefore we believe the combination of momolotinib and SRA515 has the potential for improved efficacy and safety. Our plan is to initiate a phase two trial examining momolotinib and SRA515 in the first half of 2022 for the treatment of myelofibrosis. And we look forward to sharing more details about this plan study as we get closer to trial initiation. To close, I'd like to add that we are grateful to Ann Brazo and the entire myelofibrosis advocacy community for all the work that is being done to raise awareness and to educate patients and their care partners about this disease. We appreciate the partnership that we have with MPN Advocacy and Education International, and I appreciate the opportunity to tell you and your listeners about what we're doing at Sierra Oncology. Thank you.